All right. Okay, so for my introduction, um, not long ago, Microsoft had little interest in being in the hardware business, aside from an Xbox game that we all know. Um, and then Xbox game, computers, keyboard, mice, and on Tuesday though, the company packed an event in New York with all the latest devices. So what did they introduce? They introduced the Microsoft um, Surface Book. Um, and the latest Surface tablet computer, the company showed new smartphones where people can plug into big displays to use as they would an ordinary PC. So I do need to use the um, projector, so you just have to plug it in your phone, and then you can use your phone as a computer. So it's pretty sweet. And a HoloLens augmented reality headset. So what is this Surface Book? Uh, one of the devices announced Tuesday, the Surface Book generated the most attention because it plunges Microsoft deeper into the making PC hardware. Uh, the company positioned the device, which starts at relatively 1500 bucks as a more powerful competitor of Apple MacBook Pro. Um, personally, I like this little thing. You know, like, we have to buy it, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, <laughs> well, the device was traditionally a keyboard attached to the screen through a hinge. The two can be also separated as a display and used as a tablet. So not only as a computer, but also you can just detach the screen and take it as a tablet. So that eliminates the purpose of an iPad. Um, what is this here? OK, and also the Surface Pro. Uh, Microsoft also showed its new Surface Pro 4, the fourth generation of this tablet. Uh, so we all know that, the one you have to buy the keyboard separately, and then it just plugs in. Um, so they made it bigger. Uh, it used to be 12 inches, now it's 12.3, so we have to pay more for those extra 0.3 inches, <laughs> which is, I don't know what the big deal is. Um, the starting price is around 900 bucks for it. Also, um, after poor initial sales of the buys when it was introduced a few years ago, Surface has turned into a meaningful business for Macintosh, oh no, Microsoft, sorry. Uh, during this final fiscal year, the company said Surface sales were $3.6 billion. Um, the growth of the business, though, represents a potential threat to Microsoft partners of the hardware business, who in most cases are struggling with the profit margins already. Um, if Microsoft sells, uh, still sells on an expanding line of PCs, it could gradually undermine the desire of hardware makers of the use, uh, to use Windows on the devices so if this keeps up and Microsoft keeps stealing, this, uh, stealing their sales, um, a lot of hardware producers out there are not going to choose to go with the Microsoft software for the product. So instead, they're going to use the Chrome uh, from Google instead as a second way of like replacing it, almost. Also, smartphones. Uh, smartphones has been the most unforgiving and costly new hardware venture Microsoft has entered due because of now the Android and also the iPhone being there, like uh, the top competitors in the cell phone area. So um, it is said that the... <sighs> okay, so after the company acquired Nokia headset business last year, sales of the device steadily worsened on July. Microsoft took a $7.6 billion accounting charge steaming with the deal, uh, writing off nearly the entire value of the acquisition. Also, on Tuesday, Microsoft showed that these new smartphones models included two high-end phones, the Lumia 950, which has a cost around 600 bucks, uh, the Lumia XL, which cost around 700, maybe $800, and also the devices will enter the big screen phone category. So one of the phones will be a 5.2 inch uh, screen, while the other one will be a 5.7. Uh, also, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the HoloLens. So the company showed a new game for the HoloLens headset, uh, it's called the Project X-Ray, which allows anyone wearing the, head, the device to shoot simulated holes in the walls using a blaster that appears around in their wrist. So this is practically like playing Portal by Unreal Life. And um, the kicker though, that this, Headset, the HoloLens, has a price range of three thousand dollars. So I don't know who's gonna pay that for just maybe one afternoon and then potentially break it, making you bankrupt. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'm looking forward to it. Maybe I'll buy it when it's a lot cheaper, lot lot cheaper, than nine 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 soon. So uh, the product are and as the products that Microsoft uh, launch is a has changed in the past years and it shifts further from its roots as a software maker to a company that in some cases believes it has the, to invest in hardware to stay competitive. In many cases, those investments have not paid off 
but that does not stop Microsoft from keeping at it.